Farrell, principal of Bear Creek High School, and I'm very excited to be able to welcome our incoming freshman class. You all will be the graduating class of 2025, which is absolutely bonkers for me to think about. Um, but we're very excited to welcome you. Uh, we have provided some information and some videos and resources about course selection for next year. And the biggest thing for you to know about us at Bear Creek is we really do want to help. So please make sure that you are reaching out to either myself, Mr. Shipley, our vice principal, and our counselors here at Bear Creek. Feel free to give us a call, shoot us an email. Uh, we're going to try to have as many opportunities as we can virtually to provide information for you. As soon as we can meet with people in person, we will be setting up things uh, over the summer and next school year as soon as we're safely able to do so. It is absolutely important to us that you all feel welcome and safe here at Bear Creek and that your students feel like they can get their questions answered. So please feel free to reach out. Please check our school website for information and let us know if you have any questions. Thank you for all of your patience during this process and during this time in distance learning. We are so excited for you to join us and become our new set of Bruins next year. Welcome to Bear Creek High School Spring Presentation. We are so excited to meet with you and your students to help them make the most of their high school experience. But first we wanna make sure as parents, you are aware of all the great things offered at Bear Creek High School by introducing you to all the programs and resources and reviewing the high school and college requirements and different college and career pathways. Lastly, we wanna go over with your student on how they will um, learn how to sign up for classes. Bear Creek is a large comprehensive high school down the street from you guys, 2100 with, with 2100 students, grades nine through 12. We have one principal, one vice principal and two assistant principals. We have over 120 teachers and support staff, including counselors working at Bear Creek High School. We have many, many um, sports and different ways for your students to, part, to be active on campus. Because we are a large campus, you have been um, assigned your very own counselor and assistant principal. Take a moment to locate your assistant principal and counselor by last name or if you plan on being an avid. Let's start with the fun stuff. The first question we get asked the most is, what sports do you have? Here's a list of the sports we offer. Keep in mind the requirements to participate in sports. You must have a 2.0 with no more than one F, no, uh, so no days um, suspensions, and more information can be found on the Bear Creek website. The second question we get asked is, hey, do you have, what kind of clubs do you have? We have a club for everyone. We have a club for those interested in academics, culture, inter um, interest and performance-based and community service clubs. Please take a moment to see what club fits your students the best. Beyond sports and clubs, we have some outstanding programs. Up, up next is Mr. Daniel to review how to stay active on campus. Thank you, Ms. Fampek. We offer awesome programs like AVID. In order to join, students must have a 2.0 to a 3.5 GPA currently and aspire to attend a four-year college after high school. This class helps students develop note-taking skills, study skills, and prepare for college. We have advanced placement or AP classes in many subjects. So for our ninth grade students, they can choose to take AP Human Geography if they are interested in adding a more rigorous and advanced class to their schedule. Overall, these courses challenge and prepare students for the rigor of college work. Next, we have Agricultural or Ag Program Pathway. Take a look at some of the options we have here. These courses are great for students to develop career and technical skills and also prepare for CTE pathways. In many classes, students can earn college credits and or industry certifications. So make sure you take a look at our course catalog for more information. We also have career technical education or CTE classes. These courses are focused on developing your students' job skills and experience for future jobs. 
Some classes allow students to earn college credits at Delta College and CSU campuses. And lastly, we have the Early Start Program and Dual Enrollment with Delta College. These are free classes offered after school at Bear Creek that help students earn college credits and are transferable to CSU and UC campuses. This is a great opportunity for our students to earn college credits while in high school, as well as gain that exposure and experience of being in a college course. Make sure you let your students counselor, um, make sure you let them know if you're interested. Now moving on to our academic and enrichment activities students should consider at Bear Creek. We have fun and exciting electives to choose from, competitive speech and debate for all grade levels. This class is centered around public speaking and they even have competitions which are mandatory to attend. If your student would like to be a part of student government, they may do so starting their freshman year. These are student leaders focusing on team, team building, special projects and leadership development. Starting their 10th grade year, students may consider joining, joining the Bruin Voice, which is our Bear Creek student newspaper open to our 10th through 12th graders. Later on, students might also consider joining the Link Crew program. Here, students mentor freshmen through freshman orientation and participate in different activities throughout the year. Now let's get into graduation requirements. By the end of senior year, students should complete 230 credits in order to graduate with their class. That is 60 credits per year of high school. Within the 230 credits, the following classes must be taken. Four years of English, two years of math, two years of science, one life and one physical, one year of fine art, world language or career technical education class, two years of PE, unless your student passes the physical fitness test, four years of history, which is detailed on the right side of this slide, and of course, electives. And now moving forward, we will hear from Ms. Gowdy. All right, as your student considers classes to select for their freshman year, we also want you to start thinking about their college and career pathway. So of course we have the four year college pathway, which includes the UC CSU systems and private colleges, as well as out of state ones. These are great options for students who are already looking at advanced coursework and who are considering schools maybe like UC Davis, UC Berkeley, Stanislaus State, Sac State, uh, University of Oregon, Stanford. Those are all examples of the four year college pathway. We also have our community college pathway. Delta is the local community college, and this is a great option for students who may still be exploring when they get to college or who are looking to get those first two years free. Trade and technical schools are great for students who are going into a specific field that requires extra training like auto mechanics or construction. Of course, the military is a great option for many students, and some students may choose to work or pursue other interests. So be thinking about your college and career pathway and how that impacts the classes that you're going to select. We do have Naviance, which is a great tool to explore colleges and careers. Be sure to check that out when your student is, this, is at Bear Creek. They'll have access to it through their Clever portal. Now you might be wondering how difficult are the classes? So we have four different class levels here at Bear Creek. The most advanced is advanced placement. For example, AP Human Geo or AP English Lang and Comp. These are college level studies for the willing and prepared students and successful completion can earn college credits through high scores on AP exams. These are the most advanced and difficult classes at the high school and careful consideration should be made before committing to these classes. The next level is honors. For example, English 9 honors or biology honors. These used to be known as pre-AP but are now called honors courses. These are also high standards, build strength and knowledge, and also critical thinking skills. These classes are fairly challenging and are good for students who are looking for a little bit of advanced coursework but aren't ready for the AP level. Of course, we have our college preparatory classes, which are the majority of our classes that most students take. This is the standard level that students enter in on. For example, English 9 CP or Earth and Space Sciences CP. These are based on the Common Core standards and prepare students to meet preparation and requirements to enter colleges and universities after high school. The first three levels are all A to G approved classes. So those will meet the four year college requirements for admission. We also do have non CP non college preparatory classes, for example, English nine, sometimes called general. These are also based on Common Core standards, 
but are scheduled on a case by case basis for students who may need a little bit more support and space in how they are processing their classes. These courses do meet high school graduation requirements, but do not meet the A to G requirements to enter a four year college right after high school. Now we'll hear from Mr. Jackson regarding our math and science pathways. Hello. Math pathways. I want parents to know, regardless of the entry point uh, um, for their child, their child is able to accomplish the A through G requirements for a four year university. This can be a difficult decision. Make sure your child is appropriately placed because his or her success is key at this level. We wanna make sure that they're challenged, but not overly burdened. Our math pathways operate on a three tier model. We have intervention classes, we have benchmark classes and accelerated. Take a look at the eighth grade column. View your child's current placement. Next, move over to the ninth grade column. You will need to make a decision, or your child, your child will need to make a, de a decision about placement. We are asking that your child work closely with their math teachers and of course their parents in regards to placement. Our science and math pathways, they are aligned together. Science is paired with their math level. Once again, we're advising students to work closely with their teachers, to consult their, their course catalog, and of course, to work with their parents. The four-year plan. The four-year for, uh, four plan for, for high school is really important. It's important because if the student is organized in regards to what they'll be taking over the four years, more than likely there'll be no mistakes in what they need to take in order to get to a four-year college or whatever their plans are for after high school. So, we're encouraging, encouraging that they write it down and that they pay attention to A through G and non A through G courses. Make sure you know the difference. We offer an array of different services, including tutoring. We offer tutoring before and after school. And we also offer a, um, an online tutoring service at tutor.com and it's 24 seven. Counseling services, we offer academic, behavioral, health and attendance. We have a college and career readiness program and our coordinator is Mrs. Ramirez and she's happy to help um, students uh, in regards to any of their college or career needs. Conflict management is also offered if your child is having a dispute with another student, uh, maybe a best friend, maybe someone they don't know, we offer this type of servicing so, uh, service so that they're able to, to resolve uh, any problems. Uh, and, and so it's there, there for the students. We're encouraging all students to download the ARIES portal and to check their grades daily. Now, Mr. Vu. Thank you, Mr. Jackson. So we do have several changes. So let's review them briefly. Uh, first, Lola Digital Academy. Full online learning will continue to be available next year for Bear Creek uh, bound students. So Bear Creek will still be their home school. Therefore, students can participate in all Bear Creek activities like sports, dance, and so on. So if your student would like to continue learning online, please make sure that your student selects Digital Academy and complete the necessary steps when they request for their classes. Space is limited, so a lot of system may be used if necessary. Course changes. We have some minor changes in terms of how we refer to a class. So for example, as mentioned earlier, all pre-AP classes will now be referred 
to us honors. However, students will still receive the rigor, the challenge, the weighted GPA as before. As you can see, also our sciences um, now will have a minor, more fancy title. So for instead, instead of just calling biology, it is now referred to as biology of the living earth. But the remains, uh, the, the course content I, I meant uh, remains the same. New courses, beginning next school year, French will be added to our world language department, giving Berkeley students more options. We now have Spanish, Italian, and French. So more options for our students. This is the actual course selection forum. And of course, since we're doing everything online, and so we will not be collecting this form from your student. Instead, your student will be submitting their class requests online using a Google phone link that will be provided to them later on. Um, however, we recommend that please use this form as a reference guide to help your student and you select classes. And I um, highly recommend that you keep this as a record so that you know what you selected for next year. So very soon we'll be coming out to the middle schools, you know, to greet me and uh, help our students prepare for high school. So as you see on the screen, uh, we will be uh, coming out to Henderson and Elkhorn uh, starting next week. And again, everything will be online. So the orientation will be uh, hosted virtually with your students. Uh, we will do a pre-recorded presentation with them, answer any questions they may have. And then we will then again meet with them to finalize their schedule virtually. And after that, after Echo next week, then we'll be coming to Krista and also Delta Sierra to finish our middle school uh, pre-registration for, for next year.